hello guys uh, Arnav here from coding box and uh, today we're gonna cover a video where um, we're gonna discuss how to build a um, real world project using uh, node.js so uh, by real world I mean two things of course uh, the first thing is the generic meaning of the term real world that we're gonna try to build a project like actual uh, big applications uh, are written which uh, like a big team of developers are working on it and it's going to be used by lots of uh, people so these kind of projects uh, you know need to be very maintainable the code needs to be really good uh, if new people join into the team uh, we should be able to you know uh, add code and understand the existing code very easily so the code should follow a particular structure the the, the the models the data they should all uh, have like you know well defined uh, syn uh, you know data structure and everything so uh, what i'm going to do is uh, pick up uh, this um, real world.io website so this is a really nice place to start off to try out uh, so if i go to real world.io uh, this place and this uh, takes us to basically this page go things to real world which is basically um, the guys at thingster.io they have uh, created a sample application uh, and they have uh, made a constant api uh, spec which means that we can build a bunch of different front end solutions which consume the same uh, api and we can build a bunch of back end solutions which all serve the exact same uh, api so uh, what uh, we're going to try and do is we'll try to uh, build this exact same API. Uh, so I'm just going to go to navigate to the API page. So we'll try to build uh, this API using um, our uh, uh, stack, which is going to be Node.js. Uh, along with that, to store data, we are going to use uh, SQLize as an ORM and MySQL as a database. Uh, so we'll be using express as the application server the most common one that node.js uses and we're going to be using uh, sqlize as an orm to build our uh, database layer okay mm, so there's this page here inside the real world uh, website uh, called the api slash readme.md so if we go there we can see that you know it's uh, very well defined there is a definition for the user object the profile object the article object uh, the comment object and uh, the tags and style error codes the endpoints are given what happens when we send a post request to log in uh, a post request to sign up a get request to fetch the current user and so on like the entire api spec is given we'll be going through that as we build this project this is how uh, a finished solution would look like if the front end and back end both are built so we should have like uh, a global feed where we can like see articles like list of articles like a medium kind of website we can open any article and uh, you know read that article we can follow a particular user and we can go to settings page i can change my profile image my bio uh, my password i can uh, log out and i can log in if i want to back in okay so um, yep this is pretty much what we have to build uh, a clone of medium we are just going to build the api right now uh, using node.js we are not going to build the front end uh, during uh, this uh, series of videos so i uh, hope you like uh, these series of videos hope it helps you build uh, a you know uh, get an idea of how complex projects are built